hey guys welcome back to the etsy mark youtube channel hello guys you're welcome thank you <laughs> Thank you, George. okay so you're welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about one of you requested that we talk about the experience flying with a newborn during the pandemic okay guys so one of you actually asked because um, of the video we dropped for us to talk about how it feels like um, traveling with a baby in the pandemic she was newborn yeah oh, a newborn in the pandemic yes certainly mm -hmm. this is actually the video and shout out to you who asked us to do this so this is the experience we had as we are going to hold nothing back and we're going to give you in details exactly how it felt like so here we go first of all we were a bit skeptical about going traveling with the newborn baby because my mom really wanted us to come back home so that uh, she can take care of me as a mom and also take care of the baby although the baby was already taken care of by my mother-in-law here in abuja but you know mothers now they still want to be like okay i want to see my daughter she was like okay it is you that i want to see i want to know that i want to be able to take care of your body being that i i delivered through cs and when my mother-in-law was around there was little to nothing that she could really do because of the wound that was still there and my mom was telling me it's okay just clean when you come home i'm going to take good care of you and all of that so and then she was always asking when are you coming home once you come home let me see you once you bring the baby back i was like gosh there is a pandemic <laughs> my mom wasn't having it at all and then we all we finally decided to travel yeah actually that journey was not it at all i didn't really feel good about it because it was stressful from the onset in fact from thinking it was stressful because i was worried yeah how are we going to cope would they even allow a baby on board yeah yeah we we're worried if they'll allow a baby to fly like a newborn baby like that to fly and then my i remember my husband will call the the airline can a baby can a a, a one month old baby travel <laughs> uh was she okay yeah can, 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 can they, a one month baby travel, baby That's travel? What I asked them. And, <laughs> and they said yes you can mm. i said so is there any form of mask or something we are supposed to use to protect the baby yeah. he said no but as long as you the parents will wear your mask and every other passenger so yes the baby can travel so we we gave it a shot yes and then another thing during the preparation to travel initially we plan on taking the car seat but as the days approached we're like okay um i think carrying this car seat is gonna be stressful so we'll just leave the car seat behind and that would have been a very big mistake, you know. Very, but you know, you agreed with me at some point that we yeah. should leave the car seat yeah. at home. And then my sister, a came. She was like, "Please don't travel without the car seat. You really need this car seat." You know, actually, mm -hmm. when we were getting the car seat, mm -hmm. we were told, and even the manual of the car seat reads clearly that it can be used in a flight when you're traveling. You understand that everything that makes up the car seat conforms to whatever the shah spoke English. So <laughs> all all that was being said was that everything moves or the the car seat can be used in the flight. In the flight inside. So yeah. we actually thought it was wise enough to have the baby um, travel with, with us and stay inside the car seat with us and yes when we were leaving the car seat came in very very handy on the road because from where we live to the airport in abuja is nothing less than 30 minutes drive so yeah, imagine please don't use don't use 30 minutes okay how many minutes it's nothing less than 30 kilometers to oh 40 it's, kilometers drive oh it's 30 kilometers yeah it's about 30 to 40 kilometers drive from here but every time i go to the airport I, we usually use 30 minutes except for the what day if there's traffic and okay then you use yeah more than. okay yeah if there is traffic okay. we use more than and there's always traffic at the entrance to the airport Dude. and so you see you might use longer time but the distance remain the same okay yeah so 30 to 40 kilometers drive from the house to the airport 
okay so that's it and then the baby hat was like very comfortable staying on her own instead of me to be squeezing her and holding her to my body all the time so that is the, where the car seat really came in handy and it was like really really good yes when we got there ah there was a whole lot of uh what is that thing called procedures yeah, yeah. procedures in the airport procedures. you have to go through Crazy. first of all parking we had some Take, bags yeah um so we needed a trolley to move the bags and then the trolley guys are funny you need to pay up first and all that information we had as at then was you have to get to the airport two to three hours before your flight yeah. time because of the necessary disinfection and whatever they need to do on your on your bags and also you as a person when we got there okay they were like uh, the, you bring your baby okay because i actually covered her with a blanket so they are, were like had to take her out from the car seat for them to disinfect the whole baby car seat and then i okay first of all i had to go and wash my hands disinfect my hand come pick her out then disinfect the whole car seat uh, pass the car seat to me put the baby in then my husband go wash his hand disinfect pass and then we check go temperature. yeah check disinfect the, our bags and then we just when we got inside we had to still scan the car seat through the airport stuff so we had to pick out the baby put the car seat wow. scan it put the baby back we got to check in we had to take the baby out but they would be like they were like okay take the baby out no put the baby back take the baby out so you can put the baby back and we're like so they were kind of confused <laughs> they were like can this thing go they were like at first they wanted us to take the car seat into the aircraft and then at some other point we're like okay i don't think this car seat can go, get into the aircraft okay you have to take your baby out let us wear the car seat okay put her back in and they were like okay take out the baby again let's wear the car seat okay we are taking the we are checking in the car seats and all of that so that was all the things we had to go through it wasn't easy at all because at that point i was like what do we actually do okay no problem let's get going and then when we finally su survived that point <laughs> we moved to the waiting room or the waiting hall and then getting there we needed to do another round of, of uh, all the pulling of shoes, pulling of shoes with a newborn temperature and check, all of that i i shall that. did not pull my shoes because i was carrying I, my baby I, I wore i wore palm slippers mm. on purpose because i didn't want to stress myself and i had my I, my wife's laptop and my laptop with mm. me so i was asked to remove the laptop of which i did not because of the baby so i just, like used, just so i just dropped it and then it passed us, after you can see you can see everything through so why do i need to bring out the laptop please if you know why help me <laughs> tell us in the comment section because i just feel it was um, it's excess activity and yes another thing that eh, we actually experienced we've been traveling together a lot right from when we were dating and then this was the first time of us ever traveling with a baby and then we were like having to take turns to go to the bathroom taking turns to to go get something and then uh, my husband would wait i had to change a diaper right in the sitting area of the airport and thank god for the social distancing like nobody was sitting very close to me but the airport was so filled anyways i changed her up covered her took the diaper to the restroom and all of that like all the process was just like it was a whole new process to us but we shall survive and it was a, actually an interesting one and then this point at this point this point We're was already very exhausted no this point tired. this uh, entering the aircraft was very difficult for me i couldn't enter the aircraft with the baby because the stairs were very steep yeah it was just yeah it was very small and steep yeah it was very small like this uh Ipom air this small aircraft with uh, the one that small stairs anyways so i couldn't climb and my husband really had to help at this point and then coming down he still had to 
hold the baby and even going up the escalator i couldn't go up the escalator with the baby in my arms but my husband was with the baby while we were going up the escalator to the waiting room and he was like baby don't touch anything here remember that time corona was still very hot it was like baby don't touch anything here please just stand still till we get there but just when we were about to like I had to touch something Thank because God we, we were always with our sanitizer, <laughs> yes, so sanitizer immediately and... we used it before she touched the baby. Yeah. Anyways, we got into the flight, got to our seat while we sat down. Preparation for yeah. for for the flight, mm -hmm. we were given a small seat belt. Yeah. It was funny at that point because I didn't know how to go about the seatbelt. What do we use it for? Until I called the air, one of the air hostesses who, um, who came up and told us how to use, it. to use it. So what happens is you have to wrap it around the baby, the baby's waist or just yeah, around the midsection of the mm -hmm. baby and then put it, there's a little hook, put it through your own, the person carrying the baby, put it through your own seatbelt and lock your seatbelt so already it leaves That's opportunity safe. for the two places so you wrap it around the baby and hook it so if it is not too tight it's not supposed to be loose or too loose if it's not too tight it has an adjustment where you can adjust it and make it a bit tight so that was how we're able to get our seatbelts fastened and that of baby fasten a whole new experience a whole new experience <laughs> and she 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 sucked yeah she kept day. sucking yeah. and um, at some point she mm -hmm. she wanted to stand and express herself so maybe yeah like she wanted you to carry her out at some point i took her I took she her was too her. little she was too little i'm oh, sorry my bad <laughs> <laughs> Okay, she was like kind yeah, of yeah she was tired mm. of staying in a particular position and wanted so we tried to adjust her to yeah. this other and, side. and another thing is that the aircraft was quite small and i was sitting by the entrance and by the aisle and then the head hostesses you know they usually go up and yeah, down and then people go into the lavatory and all of that so I, I constantly had to protect her head from people hitting her and all of that but i really had to carry her because of uh, sucking of breastfeeding if not my husband would have been the one to carry but i had to breastfeed her at some point and i also wore a cloth that was very very breastfeeding uh, friendly it had a zip in front so anytime i wanted to breastfeed her i'll just unzip it give it to her zip it back and then we were all making my activities public <laughs> we all wore nose marks in the in the yeah, aircraft. That was one Everybody. part I really loved. Everybody had their nose marks on, and also there was no form of feeding while the flight was in motion. Yeah. Nobody ate anything. And uh, did people even drink water? I think no, they, no, no. Okay, they gave yeah, water. They gave, they gave only water, water and water. and they announced that we are going to get our package when we leave when the aircraft. So we can eat there. I don't want this video to get so long. It's already getting to. So that's how we flew, and then we landed. When we landed, we had to do all the procedures together again. Came down from the flight, and then this time around, we had to pass through a machine where that disinfects you as you come. Mm. So inside the flight, we we're given some form of paper to feel a form to feel some certain information okay yeah like to feel like and, information and uh, we had to do that then when to... we get there when we got to um, our destination we dropped the information so that was our experience traveling with a newborn for the very first time and then coming back we kind of actually knew what to expect and the we we basically oh <laughs> we went through the same process all over again when we were coming back and and that's how we ended the trip because we already knew what to expect and it was much easier for us this time around we didn't have to stress anybody and we got back safe and sound and nobody had any issues so when you're traveling with the baby do well to watch and also ask questions very important ask questions especially for things you don't understand and you don't know how to go about it 
Mm. But I bet you it's it's just as if you're traveling with yourself, only that you have to carry someone. Yeah, and I really recommend you go with your car seat because whether you are driving to the someone is driving you to the airport or when you'll be going to the airport, you will need to your baby to be comfortable in her car seat and on your way back from the airport you need your baby to also be comfortable in her car seat you don't want to be squeezing her and all, all of that because the car seat is built to protect the baby very well so it's very important to travel with your car seat whenever you are flying definitely so guys thank you very much i believe we've been able to do justice to the request. If even you have though any, the video is coming, yeah, even if it's late. coming in in a very long <laughs> period, but then we been able to do this. Whatever video you want us to do, whatever video idea, please shoot your shot. We are going to do justice to it, just like we've done this one. And to you who requested for this video, thumbs up for you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and this is a great opportunity to give this video a thumbs up if you've not already. Subscribe on your way out. Just click on that red. Uh, subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you'll not miss any of our upcoming videos again